Okay, so first things first, yeah, I impulsively cut my bangs again, and it's looking kind of bowl cutty right now, but I don't care enough to hide it anymore. And one day I'm going to get them professionally cut, because I think that I would look good with bangs. Anyway, um, so some of you may have seen a unlisted video where in the beginning of the week, I made a video announcing that I think I got COVID, and uh, that basically happened my first week back at school, and I was upset but I was also sporting a high fever in that video, and thus I was a little bit delirious. So I deleted it so as to not embarrass myself, and also because everyone is getting COVID these days, so I don't really have, I didn't think I had the right to complain about it, but we're back, and I no longer have a fever, I'm just kind of congested right now, and I have bangs. So that's that. Actually, let me know if you think I actually need thicker bangs, because right now they are kind of sparse bangs. Um, I'm gonna try and, yeah, they're like, kind of like that. It looks kind of weird, but uh, things are kind of blurry in this laptop, but that's okay. Anyway. Um, let me know if the issue is that I keep making super sparse bangs and it looks weird. Oh, that looks weird. Anyway, we are going to hide the bangs immediately. Right, that's better. It's not. I just need to not have camera on ever. It's okay. As long as it looks okay in the Zoom calls through which I'm conducting classes, everything will be fine. So, I keep looking behind because I was hoping my phone would be somewhere around here. No, it's not. It's in the other room. But I just want to announce the return of my study bunny app usage. We're back. I didn't study nearly as much as I wanted to this week because I would wake up a little bit too late every day if I didn't have a morning class. And then my energy levels would start lagging really bad around 6 p.m. all of the time. And then I had brain fog because of congestion. <laughs> I mean, that's gotta be a thing, right? I, I googled it, but it wouldn't tell me for sure. Basically, my whole like nose and like head area was super congested and felt stuffed up, like I wasn't getting oxygen to my brain well enough or something. And I would feel brain foggy all the time. Like, I would have that feeling when you hold your breath as a kid thinking, oh, if I hold my breath long enough, then I'll, I'll definitely faint. And then, am I the only, I'm not the only one who did that, right? Right. Anyways, I felt like that all the time. And that is not conducive to reading, like, Adorno or something like that. So, actually, Adorno is not that hard to read. Uh, I should have picked a better example. The point is... It's not fun to study when you feel like that, but I will tell you guys that ever since I suspected COVID, I've been eating a lot better. I mean, okay. I will talk a bit about my weight in the next like portion of the video. So if that's an issue for you, then maybe skip um, the rest of this video at this point. But see, I'm almost, yeah, so it, you, you've been warned, I'm gonna start now. While I had a really bad cold, or if it was COVID or whatever, um, I was eating a lot healthier, but I also wasn't that hungry all the time. And I think that I lost a little bit of a little bit of body fat, not a lot, but just a little. I don't think I, I lost like weight, weight, but because uh, I haven't been at home, so I haven't been able to check. But I have lost a little bit of body fat, and I don't know how to feel about that really because um, I actually I binged and purged once during this time, and it made my throat and everything so much worse that I just decided not to do it again. And 
it's not that I was not eating a lot, even though I didn't have an appetite, I was definitely eating enough. But I just, I don't know how I feel about the fact that I wasn't binging and purging the majority of this time, and I wasn't not eating at all, but I was eating kind of like a fair amount and I still lost some fat. I don't know how to feel about that. It's been a while since anything like that has happened, and I don't know. I don't know. But now that I'm feeling better, I'm in that phase at the end of, in illness where you realize you've been eating slightly less for a period of time and you get your appetite back and you're ravenous. So I don't like that. In fact, I despise it and I wish that it would stop. So I feel like I'm at risk of backsliding into uh, binging and purging again. I mean, I didn't really, I didn't really voluntarily stop. It was more like I did it once and it made me feel so much worse that it actually deterred me for once. Plus the advantage that I was in a feverish state. I mean, I was in a weird state that whole time. I was just thinking in weird ways and acting in weird ways and my boyfriend had to put up with all of it. I don't know. I'm not myself when I'm sick. And I'm definitely not myself when I have a fever. But it was an interesting time. For my eating disorder, it was an interesting time. And now that it's almost fully over, I'm not sure what... I'm not sure how to proceed. Like, what do I do with this information that I can lose weight eating almost normally? Normal amounts. Anyways. It has bothered me a little bit that after the end of January, we're supposed to go back to in-person class, and I understand that it's a trivial concern, but I'm concerned about my physical appearance for returning to back to school in person. It's not even close yet, but I am already self-conscious. I mean, I get it, it doesn't matter. I have more things to worry about, you know, like taking six courses this semester because I am a masochist and I always do this to myself. And I don't intend to drop any of these six courses. I know I showed it in the last video, but I also, because I'm stuck indoors, I ended up ordering on Amazon a package of these legal pads to take my notes on and they're okay. And I've been using this Pentel RSVP ballpoint pen with it, and it kind of sucks because when it when I'm writing, and I don't even know if it's my fault because maybe I'm just not applying pressure evenly, but how can I explain this without having to actually show you my handwriting? It leaves little dots at random points on letters, and it's little dots of concentrated ink. And because of that, when you turn the page over, you can see the dots on the other side, and it's irritating to me. So it's either the pen or my handwriting that is defective, and it's probably my handwriting, and I'm trashing the pen unnecessarily, but anyways, I don't know why I said that, but I actually, okay, the positives of this week, I actually managed to stay on top of my work. I mean, it remains to be seen, uh, there's still this weekend where, oh my gosh, my bangs need to stop. Okay, how about this? What is going on? Okay, I'll just keep talking while I mess with my hair, I'm sorry if that's distracting. So, I still have this weekend to go uh, before I'm completely able to say that I did all of my work for this week and stayed on top of everything. But it's looking pretty good so far. I get that it's the first week and nothing has really picked up yet, but I'm feeling very positive because if I did that, if I accomplished that, 
while being super sick, then the rest of the semester cannot be worse than that. Because I was feeling terrible this past week. Um, didn't want to show it in person, like in real life. Didn't want to tell my parents that it was that bad, but it was awful because I felt super incapable when studying because it was very difficult to read. And as soon as I get my brain cells back to 100%, and as soon as the brain fog is done with me, there is no way that the next month could possibly be worse than the first week. Um, TMI, but I also... Okay. Yeah, TMI, but I also say a lot worse. Um, have said a lot worse on YouTube, but I had that cold or COVID incident, and I had my period at the same time. And let me tell you, it was it was a disgusting week, physically. <laughs> like there there is no worse timing than what just happened. Anyways. It's weird because that week I was still kind of, okay, that week I was refusing to sleep during the day. And you know how when you have a cold, it's like you take a nap in the day or you sleep in or you sleep early. I was refusing to do any of that. I was just like, only one sleep. I mean, I kind of am like that in general. I just don't like to have naps because I always feel worse after the nap. But I was basically refusing to get any extra sleep the whole time I was sick, which was a stupid move and probably delayed my recovery and harmed my immune system. Do not be like me. And I probably didn't have to study or like read as thoroughly as I did. I was just doing it by choice because I had some residual New Year's, New Year, New Me stubbornness and adrenaline going on that was somehow powering through the entire experience of being sick and on my period during the first week of school. And funnily enough, I still have that adrenaline in me right now. It, I mean, adrenaline is extremely temporary, so I shouldn't call it adrenaline. I think it's more like aggression. I still have that right now, and you can probably hear it in my voice. I'm just way too excited about everything. I'm not, um, I'm not particularly caffeinated right now. I'm just very pumped. I think that part of it is also because of eating well. I mean, I hate to admit it, but yeah, it's probably also because I've been eating a bit better these days. And the surprising, the shocking amount of energy that I have. Here's another thing, okay, so I already warned you that I was going to talk, that I talked a bit about weight loss, but here's like a little additional warning about calorie and weight loss talk, all right? I'm 5'1", and every time I go to one of those TDE calculators online, they always give me a super low TDE estimate, and I'm like, okay, I'm I'm pretty sedentary. Um, I do a I, I do some light exercise and walking, whatever. It's not a big deal to me, uh, but I wouldn't say that I exercise one to three times a week. I don't really um, like I wouldn't class that as real exercise or working out or anything. And I would definitely not class myself as exercising three or five times a week or six times a week, whatever, you know? But I, after this week, I'm starting to wonder if my TD might actually be a lot higher, or not a lot higher, but like a, just, you know, moderately higher than what the online calculators are predicting for me. Because when you're short, the TD calculators are always going to be mean to you. Uh, well, not mean, but they're always going to bully you a bit and say, like, your BMR is like 1,000 calories or something. It's not, by the way. I don't think it is. Anyways, I don't remember what it is right now. But 
I'm wondering if my TD might be way higher than that. I mean, obviously higher than the BMR, but to me, anyways, the I get I feel like for some people the difference, uh, like a difference between maybe thirteen hundred calories and fifteen hundred calories, or like sixteen hundred calories between those numbers is not a lot, but to me it is because when you're short and your whole life you've been like, oh, it's probably impossible for me to lose on X number of calories. Only tall people or like normal height people, average height people can do that. Um, I think it warped my perspective on maintenance calories a little bit. And this was a really long winded way for me to say that I think that my maintenance calories might actually be a lot higher than what I thought it would be. Because the other thing about being short is that you get this disheartening realization that, oh no, once I reach my goal weight, I'm going to have to eat very little forever to maintain it. Because if I just eat a little bit more, I'm going to gain weight. Because low weight plus low height equals your TD very low. But I, I'm not a particularly light... Uh, I don't weigh particularly little, as a disclaimer. Um, and I don't look like I weigh particularly little anyway, so I don't know why I had to clarify that, but whatever. Um, it's kind of a relief to know that it's not really the case, for me anyway. Your mileage may vary if you're also short and watching this, but for me, I think I've... I'm pretty confident right now. I mean, eating disorder logic gives me pause but I'm pretty confident that my maintenance is actually a fair bit of food and things are not as bleak as I think. Um, and that's really what I'm looking for right now, like to eat around maintenance for the remainder of the semester. Unless plans change, plans can change, whatever. I'm Okay, fine. To be very honest with you, I would like to lose a little bit of weight before in-person classes, but that's Whatever, I'll also be fine if that doesn't happen. Genuinely, genuinely, I will be totally okay if that doesn't happen. I would rather be passing my classes. But it would always be nice. Anyways. So, this was an oddly positive update video. I don't often have super positive update videos. It's just like... It's a cool change. Uh, let me know if you have any advice regarding the bangs situation. I don't know what to do about that, except grow them out again. But yeah, I'm I'm excited for the semester to progress. I am taking very cool classes, and it's going to be my last semester, so I can take whatever cool classes I want, except for one not so cool class that is required. But that's okay. Still, five cool classes. I'm happy. Uh, I know everyone is getting COVID these days, so everybody stay safe out there, yeah. It's like negative 20 degrees outside right now. It's ugly. Yeah, but luckily, I don't have to go outside, so it's all good. I miss being at home and baking bread. It's something I really miss about being at home. I haven't been allowed to go home because you know, the suspected COVID, but COVID tests being prohibitively expensive means that I cannot take a test. But yeah, uh, hopefully after a bit longer of an isolating, uh, isolation period, I can go home and bake some things for my family. I hope my family misses me. Okay. On that note, before I start thinking about that and getting really sad, I will leave you guys there. So, I hope you guys are doing well if this was your first week at school. I hope you had a super productive first week, but not too productive so you don't burn out on week two. Yeah, thank you guys for watching and stay safe.